Don't you wish you could craft horse armor? Wait, you can? Well, sort of. Hello everybody, my name is JD, and today we're doing another easy Minecraft tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to craft and use horse armor. That's right, you can craft, but only a limited variety. So what you need is leather, and you can craft leather horse armor. And there you go. The other kinds of horse armor, you can't craft at all. You need to find them. And, well, first of all, you can find them in many chests, such as in dungeons, uh, desert temples, end cities, jungle temples, nether fortresses, uh, villages. Uh, but in a village, it's only in the weaponsmith's chest, as well as ruined portals and strongholds. You can trade with a leather worker to find leather horse armor. This guy doesn't because he's not an expert. All of the others, iron, gold, and diamond, you have to find them in chests. Leather horse armor can be dyed, so in a Bedrock Edition we can actually use this. I'm just going to combine these two here. So we can use a cauldron to dye. So let's see. There we go. We have an interesting color here. Java Edition's a bit different. In Java Edition you need to use a crafting table to dye leather armor. So, you could use any combination of dyes, doesn't matter. You can put them anywhere in here. So, there's red, here's orange. Let's make it slightly more reddish orange, even more reddish. It can be anything. So, that's it. In Bedrock Edition, you can't do the same thing. So, I'm just trying and nothing. But, you can actually clean out the dye, uh, but we need fresh water. So here's the water. Just dip it in, right click, and there it is. The dye is off. And you can put the dye back on if you want. So how do we use the horse armor? Well, you need to get on the horse first in Bedrock Edition. In Java, it's a little bit easier, uh, which I'll show you after I show you how to do it in Bedrock. Uh, you can do the same thing in Java, but you need to get on the horse. You right click, then check the inventory. So I'm going to put on a saddle. It's a lot easier to control with the saddle. And we're putting on the leather armor here. So what you will not notice in here right now is that leather horse armor gives an increase in defense of three, or I guess one and a half uh, if you have armor on. So just get off. I'm going to put the next one on here. This guy is going to get... Uh, why don't we give him iron, huh? So there we go. So he's got iron. And iron will give five or a two and a half increase in defense. So this guy gets to have the gold armor. Uh, this is where it gets really interesting. Gold armor is better than iron. That's right. Gold gives seven or three and a half armor rating defense thing. You know, whatever it's called. Uh, then we've got this guy. We're going to put on diamond. And this will increase his defense by 11 or five and a half. And finally, let's just put on this guy the dyed armor. Let's see how it looks. All right, and uh, there we go. They are all suited up. And I should mention that horse armor does not have durability, so they last indefinitely, unlike the human armor. And as I mentioned, gold is better than iron, unlike for humans. In Java, all you really need to do is go to the horse and right-click on it, and you can place everything on it. See, you don't even have to get on the horse. But make sure that you right-click on the horse with the horse armor. Otherwise, you're going to get on the horse. You might ask about enchanting horse armor. 
Well, unfortunately, you can't. Except in creative, but it has absolutely no effect. Also, you can smelt both iron and golden horse armor to get a single nugget. It's really not worth it. Uh, unless you want to use the armor, then definitely use the armor instead of the nugget. Anyways, that is about it. So let me know if you like to use horse armor and what color do you like or which type do you like? Do you like to dye horse armor? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more easy Minecraft tutorials, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.